Hi everyone, good morning from Los Angeles. I hope you're all good and um, um, I just want to say one thing before we start. First of all, good morning. My name is Dr. Barbara Storm. Today we do a master class about serums and I quickly want to thank my team here who is putting this together so amazingly every second day. It's so much work. Um, it doesn't look like it, but it is. And I want to say thank you to my team here that we can that we are able to do that and get everybody, every one of you um, to attend skin school and master classes, um, which I think is so fun. I love it. I feel like, you know, I'm becoming like a teacher. I know that I ever wanted to be a teacher, but um, it's uh, really fun for me to educate. And today we talk about serums. You probably all know my background so well. Um, I've told it so many times. I, I'm not a dermatologist. I come from the orthopedics. I studied sports. Uh, and medicine, of course, medicine. And I went to medical school and um, went into the orthopedics, came together with scientists and orthopedic doctors and helped pioneering the treatment. Um, taking the blood of a patient, um, process it in, in a certain way and re-inject it into the joints to slow down inflammation. Therefore, um, the aging process of the joints, which is osteoarthritis, which lots of people get when they're getting older. And um, this was a fantastic treatment by just taking, you know, the healing properties from your own body, which I thought was amazing and quite simple. You know, mostly best, uh, best things in life are very simple, um, as we all notice right now. Um, so from there, I... I started injecting into um, wrinkles with fillers and Botox um, in like around 2001. And of course, when you start only hanging with scientists, you become a scientist yourself and you're not willing to do any more treatments which are not scientifically prove, proven. So I um, translated the knowledge from the skin, uh, from the orthopedics into the skin and I started something called blood facial. Um, injecting body owns proteins, you take your blood and then you re-inject it into the skin. And this is something which is very popular um, today. Um, same time, I had like severe dryness in my skin, blackheads, I couldn't find any moisturizer, it was um, crazy. I tried everything on the market and nothing could hydrate my skin. I will talk later more about hydration. And it was like, very frustrating and disappointing. So I thought, okay, I will have to make my own cream. So I um, created a moisturizer together with my pharmacist in the pharmacy. My grandmother actually was a pharmacist and she told me um, what I had to put in the, in the moisturizer, which was really cool. And then I added my body on proteins and this healed my skin. It really fixed my skin and I was good just not my patients who all wanted more. They wanted to have a cleanser. They wanted to have like a full reg regimen. They asked me for um, way more products and I couldn't recommend anything. So that's the beginning of the Sturm line. And early on, and that's where we start talking about serums early on. And this is like maybe like 2008 or something, you know, but I was injecting um, into wrinkles with fillers and we were using hyaluronic acid um, as an injection tool and I always wanted to have something for a topical hyaluronic serum and um, there was one um, product on the market that it came in little ampules I don't remember the name but there was one thing I it was hard to get and I found it and I always used it after the treatments on my patients and I said you know I actually need a hyaluronic serum in my collection because that's such a good ingredient and um, I think it's so important to give the skin hydration. It's so important to have a serum in your skincare routine. So I created a hyaluronic serum and first I made them in ampules. That's why they were ampules because for me it was kind of like a treatment after, after treating patients. So for me it was very medical and I saw it like as a cure and like, you know, as a, yeah, one time treatment for my patients after, um, after they got injected. So this um, led to the um, development of the hyaluronic serum. And yeah, first we had these ampules and it was super interesting because, um, you know, this was really the most cutting edge hyaluronic serum and it's so important. We did so much testing on it. It's, it was crazy because it's like so important how the consistency is of a hyaluronic serum. The concentration of hyaluronic acid is super low because otherwise it's gel. You know, if it's gel and you put gel on your skin, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't penetrate. It doesn't 
doesn't help just for, for over, um, superficial hydration. But we wanted to have really deep hydration because hydration is so essential for our skin functions, for our skin health, for our, the health of our cells. You need to understand, you know, cells get born on the deeper skin layers and they um, go up um, during their um, cell cycles and then they die after 40 to 6 cell divisions and then they become dead skin cells and then they are on the surface. So we need to make sure that cells who get born um, have hydration and nutrition. And this hydration in deeper layers is very important. So if we, um, if we disturb our cell functions, our skin barrier, and um, very quickly for you to understand, the skin barrier uh, consists out of dead skin cells, a hydrolipid film, and the microbiome. The microbiome is on top of our skin, and it's very essential. It's parasites, fungus, um, and bacteria, and this together um, represents our fortress, our protection, you know, to the outside, but also, um, you know, for having like um, irritant ingredients or radiation. Um, going into the skin, but also for um, ingredients or things we don't want to leave the skin to get out. And you know, one thing which is really important to keep in the skin and not lose um, through damaged skin barrier function is the moisture. And um, there's something called transepidermal um, water loss, and that's really what we don't ever want to happen. So the hydration is the key because you need to see skin cells. You know, I always compare a grape with a raisin. So the grape is like a really juicy, hydrated skin cell and the grape has osmosis channels where active ingredients can be transported into the skin, uh, into the cells, into the inner of the cells to promote functions and um, cell health. If you have like a dehydrated skin cell, it um, presents yourself as a raisin. So the surface of the of the cell is not the same and doesn't have these osmosis channels to bring active ingredients in. So in translation for you, if we have dehydrated skin, our skin cells don't get all the nutrients they need for a functioning, really beautiful skin cell. And if I say beautiful, I mean a beautiful skin cell represents beautiful healthy skin. So I just want you to understand how important it is to really maintain skin health and how much it um, um, represents anti-aging. And um, you know, when I created the skincare line, I had like these ideas about what it needs to be doing and away from dermatology. Really, I studied medicine, I went through dermatology, I worked in the dermatology um, department, I did all that, but I come from a totally different angle. I come from the angle of science. I, I worked with the most hardcore professors from Harvard and Pittsburgh, and um, we worked on molecular orthopedics. And molecular means on um, being effective on a cellular level, and I think that's what we are um, really want to understand: how can we have an effect on ourselves? So, <clears throat> by you know coming from this background, to me the focus was on anti-inflammation because inflammation is what I've been working on so ever since I'm a doctor. And inflammation is what's all around us, what's happening in our bodies and our skin. And it's what actually makes us age, makes us, um, you know, being dead at one point. You know, it's like really the, the source of diseases and cell destruction and tissue destruction. And so inflammation can be caused by so many things around us. And there's always inflammation going on in our bodies, but we can minimize it. We can minimize inflammation by, first of all, not using harsh ingredients in skincare. Um, we can have a good sleep um, habit. We can have an anti-inflammatory diet. We can try to reduce stress. We can stay out of the sun, stay out of pollution, less less um, possible. And um, you know, even the HEV light coming from the screens um, can cause inflammation. So inflammation. So we said again, anti-inflammation -inflamma was um, one big, big thing for me. Then hydration, because there was nothing out there which could hydrate, and I found it so crazy. There's so many companies who produce skincare, and they didn't figure it out. So I figured it out, hydration, um, nutrition, and then one thing is telomerase activation. And, um, the ones of you who attended the anti-aging masterclass, I talked about it a lot. It's telomerase is probably the only proven, and only on mice, I'm not talking about humans right now, proven um, ingredient which not only stops the aging process, but also reverses it. So a Harvard study on mice shows that 
it's an ingredient which um, is also um, seen in um, purslane. Purslane is what I use in every of my skincare products, just because I love purslane so much. It's um, an herb which we synthesize in a lab in a certain way. It's biofermented and we make all the properties of purslane like extremely valuable, extremely reliable and extremely safe. Um, it's um, wound healing antioxidant, has um, vitamin A, C, E, it has beta carotene and omega-3 fatty acids and it's definitely also telomerase activating which I think is um, is like really the cutting edge anti-aging ingredient. So if we talk about anti-aging, um, I want to say one more thing to that. It's anti-aging should be something which is more healing and designed to protect your cells, to make your cells go through entire cell divisions. And um, it really is important to keep your skin and your body health. And as we all understand today, we never really want to go into a doctor's office as a patient. We want to go into a doctor's office as a preventative, um, you know, um, situation. So we try all to not get sick. And I think that's a little bit the key. And that's the same with the skin. We try to avoid any type of skin condition and we can do it this way. So one more thing about anti-aging, there's so many theories about aging and you know the, the, the theory of hormones the theory of um, food the theory of um, being born and dead and um, it's just really um, it comes down the most proven um, aging theory is really the telomeres and cell divisions and if you think about a human has 40 to 60 cell divisions and a turtle 110 so you can already see a turtle gets to, to live 200 years and a human um, only um, less than half so serums why why am i so obsessed with creating serums serums is something a serum and another little thing i'm not a beauty junkie i i, I don't think we need to use like 3000 products it's not in my dna at all and when i um, wanted to fix my skin and I tell you I fixed my skin with my um, blood cream you know with the cream I sprayed it in the pharmacy and added my um, body on proteins I, I really I thought I was good and then my patients were asking me for more and that's when I started thinking um, more about you know what do we need in a proper skincare routine and you know serums and creams are quite um, different the one can't live with the other without the other so if you think a serum replaces a moisturizer that's not the, the case you know you always need a moisturizer a serum is like a more concentrated um it, it's a more concentrated skincare device which targets very specific problems or a, a specific tasks so you have less ingredients less act less variety of active ingredients in a serum than it is in a cream so cream represents a whole spectrum of tasks of um, um, a serum is very focused on a certain problem or a certain task so you have less um less variety of ingredients but a way more concentrated power behind it and especially when when it's um um, saluted in water the penetration speed and depth is amazing and there's one picture Michael can you see if you um, put up the picture of the hyaluronic serum for example I want to show you something about the hyaluronic serum because that's really 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 important and I was talking about it um, saying that the hyaluronic serum is so amazing because it has different molecule sizes and it needs to have a certain um, thickness and consistency in order to um, penetrate the skin so we tested it so much um, to make sure this consistency we have is the one which penetrates the best and is the most effective and I think that's really important to understand with our hyaluronic serum because some people say oh yeah the hyaluronic serum is so little concentrated you cannot put more in a serum otherwise it doesn't diffuse like that and it doesn't it doesn't um it's 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 too it's too thick you don't want to have a thick serum you know some hyaluronic serums you you know that um you know they're flaky they're sticky 
it, 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 there's so much to do about this hyaluronic serum in order to make it working, you know, and I know everyone who's using the hyaluronic serum loves it, loves, loves, loves it. And it just makes a big difference. And, you know, the people I'm talking to, they say it's the best on the market. And I tell you, we, we tested it so much. And you know what? I'm actually, and I tell you this because I'm never telling anybody anything, but this I'm telling you, um, I've been testing um, um, more versions now. Um, little um you know trying to um get deeper into the science of it um even deeper and trying to um get it um yet another um take on that hyaluronic serum and um it's not easy so the one we have is just so good um i'm trying to um yeah you would see you would see i'm working i'm always working on new products i'm always working on um better and faster and and, and cooler i just have this um this tendency to wanting to be you know better and better and better so uh there's this picture and on this picture you see um the molecule sizes if um, a hyaluronic serum only has big molecules it sits on top of the skin and it gives you this instant boost on the skin but it doesn't go into deeper layer important is that um the low molecular weight of the um of the hyaluronic acid penetrates really into deeper areas and deeper deeper levels of the skin this is what is important because we need to um, hydrate the skin cells from underneath and above to make sure they're always super hydrated and always stay the grapes but also um, the hyaluronic acid that penetrates in in the layers where we need to store hyaluronic acid so it even has a long-term effect you know hyaluronic acid binds thousand times its weight of water so um, if we place hyaluronic acid in deeper layers it binds water and it replaces our natural hyaluronic acid so when we age our hyaluronic acid gets less our collagen gets less elastin so our skin becomes to get saggy so if we um, keep using hyaluronic serum that's the white t-shirt of our skincare routine it got to be in your skincare routine we need to have these reservoirs of hyaluronic acid in all our skin layers. It's really good um, for anti-aging because we need to replace things which we lose throughout the um, years of, of aging. And it's just so good. So um, I, I hope that brings a little more understanding to um, why this is important. So a serum is really important in our skincare routine and i think a really modern skincare routine should be cleansing exfoliating um, um, toning hydrating serum and a moisturizer so it should have at least these five steps and a serum is a plus so if we understand science if we want to do something really effective on a molecular level we got to have a serum anyone who tells you that you just need one cream is wrong is totally wrong because creams are oils you know and they can't go that deep and also it um prevents you know if you have a cream it's not just oils it's all the water soluble, uh, soluble ingredients and this oil prevents this water soluble ingredients to penetrate into deeper skin layers so a cream doesn't do what serums do so but it doesn't it, it doesn't mean that you don't need a cream you need a moisturizer super super important so you need to have both yeah a serum and a moisturizer so um also with the cream it's not really specific it has this variation of ingredients a moisture um, a serum is very targeted so a serum and that's why um and I explain you why I have so many serums. The first was our hyaluronic serum in an ampule. Then my patients were asking, okay, I want it in a serum bottle. Okay, we put the hyaluronic serum in a serum bottle because it's just easier to use than um, in an ampule. And then the next one, let me think, what was the next serum? The super anti-aging serum was the next serum. So and also yet another hyaluronic serum. And it's basically like the hyaluronic serum, but it has way more purslane in it. Purslane, our power herb. And I put it on right now just because I love it so much. You see, I use it a lot. Um, and it has glutathione. Glutathione is also really great because it down regulates an enzyme which um, promotes the melanin um, um, formation. So it actually also helps um, against pigmentation. Glutathione is also extremely antioxidant it's such a great anti-aging power tool so 
Um, super anti-aging serum, definitely a must-have as well. I love it. Um, so this was the second serum. Yeah, Charlie said I should go the way I um, actually came up with it. Um, where it. Which one was the next one, Charlie? The calming serum. But then that's not a clear serum. So just, let's start with the clear serums because it's um, just so important to understand there are serums which are um, water-based and there are serums which are lipid-based. And the water-based serums contain ingredients which are water solutable. So some ingredients are not water solutable, so they have to be in lipid serums. So the, the, the rule is if you want to use more serums, you start with the clear serums. Always clear serums first, and then you move on to the lipid serums and then your moisturizer, if you want to use more serums. So serums are targeting certain problems, and that's why there are so many now. I started with the hydration one. I, it, my, my skincare, line comes always down to three things, anti-inflammation, nutrition, and um, nutrition and telomerase activation and hydration. It's always the same. So from the, from the inflammatory standpoint, um, what causes inflammation? I was always thinking, how can we minimize inflammation in our skin? Because inflammation causes all skin problems. Every skin problem you can think of goes together with inflammation. So it's really important to not um, inflame our skin. So anti-inflammatory, um, anti-pollution drops, for example. Um, I wanted to do something about pollution because pollution causes inflammation. HEV light from the phones causes inflammation. So this, these anti-pollution drops is actually a serum. We, at the moment, we need to have the serum. It's just mandatory. It's also a hyaluronic serum based. It's a little thinner um, because we have more active ingredients in it because it um, creates a shield on your skin to block out HEV light and pollution. Really, really important um, to use that every day now, especially when we are in front of our computers and screens. This is something I want to tell you. Um, you've got to put in your skincare routine the anti-pollution drops. This is something my five-year-old is going um, before she's it's using before she's sitting in front of the computer. This is about skin education. She really understands that she cannot look at the computer without the anti-pollution drops because the HEV light is actually same aggressive like sun, UVA, UVB, and is totally under, um, under educated about, you know, HEV light, a very modern step in your skincare routine. Um, if you only want one serum right now, this is what I would recommend because it is also um, has hyaluronic serum in it. So if you think, oh yeah, okay, um, maybe I just really want to have one serum, that's the anti-pollution drops, it hydrates, it um, is antioxidant, it um, blocks out HEV light and pollution, which is super important, especially when you also live in a city. And that's another thing with serums, you know, people ask me, how many serums can I use, should I use? You know, I'm I'm very limited with my skincare um, routine, but I want, I have everything. Everything I uh, produce, I have in my bathroom, but I don't use it all the time. I use it when I need cer certain things, you know? I, I just see how my skin feels at a certain time or where I am, where I travel, or, um, you know, Charlie, when she has little breakouts in between, uses the clarifying thing. That's the only serum I never use because uh, luckily I, I, I don't experience breakouts. But, um, and yeah, that's um, the clarifying serum, another hyaluronic serum. It really helps um, with blemishes, still hydrating, soothing, irritated skin, the clarifying serum. Also one of the first steps after, it's always, I'm talking, serums are, um, um, should be used after um, cleansing, exfoliating. You only exfoliate twice a week, by the way. Exfoliating, toning, and then if you want to use a mask, use the mask, and then you use the serums, okay? So the clarifying um, serum is also hyaluronic acid-based. So this hyaluronic serum, if you, you know, think you just want to work against your blemishes, this could be your only serum you use, the clarifying serum. You see, you don't need to have it all. You need to understand what are your um, goals, what are your targets, what is what you want to protect, or what do you want to do. Um, as I said, all products contain also purslane, so they're all anti-aging. They're anti-aging anti because they're hydrating and they're um, having purslane. So every single product does that, yeah? 
um, just for you to understand. So anything you use from our line, you also do something for anti-aging because that's also something I get asked a lot. Um, anti-aging, what can we do for anti-aging? And anti-aging is something that um, lives in your entire lifestyle, in your entire um, way of thinking about your body and how you treat it. And, um, you know, if you, for example, use a skincare routine, which is quite aggressive and you think, oh, I need to, I need to feel something. It needs to burn. It needs to tingle. It needs to, it needs to be red after then only then it's active and only then it's working. I tell you what this, all these signs are signs of inflammation and all these signs are damaging your skin barrier function. And if your skin barrier function is damaged, irritants go in, they can cause breakouts, acne, rosacea, redness, eczema, perioral dermatitis, name it, it can cause so much harm. And also um, the moisture out of your skin can disappear and you can cause so many problems like hyperpigmentation, aging, cancer, name it. It's really a problem if you damage your skin barrier function, so don't do it. Stay away from acid stay away from retinol, retinoid, um, glycolic, name it. Harsh ingredients are not, don't belong into our skincare routine, especially when it says on the packaging, don't use when pregnant. So if something is bad for your fetus, you already can see that it penetrates into your entire system and um, that it can damage you. Um, and what if you're not pregnant, then it's okay to be damaged. I don't think so. So think about this a little bit. Um, next serum. We can talk about, um, by the way, um, the Hyaluronic Serum also we have for the darker skin tone line. I want to present a skincare solution and skincare routine with everybody who has skin. And that's why I have so many products. It doesn't mean you need to have every product. You can have three products, two products, and you're good. You, um, I just want to have something... You know, I'm a service person. I come, I'm a medical doctor. I, I start, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm a doctor in service to my patients. And that's why I created this line. My patients asked me to, so I did it. Now my patients ask me, what do I do for certain skin problems? And I just want to present a solution for everyone. I don't want to, having to recommend other products, which I don't know much about. So I only want to recommend what I really put my signature underneath. And that's, that's why we also have a darker skin tone line for, um, you know, everyone who has no, more melanin in their skin. Also, everyone who wants to work against hyperpigmentation and also wonderful working for acne prone skin because it's extra antibacterial, it's extra anti-inflammatory. I use the darker skin tone line as many of my, uh, my colleagues and friends. So another... Um, clear serum you see we have more we have more for you it's the night serum and you see, you see heavy in use heavy heavy in use by myself as well the night serum i just need to show you is one of my latest obsessions it's just oh my goodness it's just the best consistency ever can you see this it's like velvet it's so nice and it has the most amazing ingredients um for example cotton thistle extract which um Rebuilds collagen, and lots of people ask me about collagen. We have lots of um, ingredients to help, um, you know, with collagen um, reproduction. Also, our supplements. If you look into our supplements, the skin food, the repair food, they all target um, also collagen production. There are collagen, um, collagen, um, you know, supplements and skincare on the market. I would stay away because it's all animal trash. So. Um, it's not for me. The night serum anyway is an amazing serum you use before you go to bed, um, before applying your moisturizer. And um, it's just like so good because it actually fills in the wrinkles overnight. It has plankton extract, which does that. It has senna alta extract, which senna alta extract, which is like an ingredient which helps your own repair mechanism to repair the UV damage from the day. It has um, ingredients to soothe irritated skin and balance and repair and it's just like a really good night serum that would be one i definitely would have in my routine so what i do in the nighttime routine i will tell you later again is like the super anti-aging serum and a night serum um another oh god so many sorry for that there are really many 
really many serums. There's another one I love, the lifting serum. Have you guys tried the lifting? serum so if you have something um, you know you want to go to or just as prevention as well it basically creates a matrix on your skin of biopolymers and it lifts your skin and at the same time it also has red algae extract and plankton which fills in fine line and wrinkles I love it obviously it has prislin and is a hyaluronic serum base it's so amazing also for guys I love this on men I always put it on my brother and on Adam and everyone. It's such a good serum. Um, you can get addicted on this one. This is actually the one um, clear serum or one of the few um, which you apply after your moisturizer. This one after your moisturizer is the exception of clear serums because this is what comes as your last step. You, you create this matrix and this lifting effect. So write this down, please. Lifting serum after your moisturizer. So one more clear serum, a very new one. Scalp serum, I don't know if you noticed that we um, launched our scalp serum. That's an amazing one. It really uh, promotes our scalp health. Hydration, exfoliation, nutrition, same our scalp and our skin. All need um, support with their skin health and um, skin barrier function and cell hydration. So that's a really good one. Um, it's not an oil, it's a hyaluronic serum as well. Um, in dry hair and wet hair after shower before going to bed. It's just like a wonderful um, um, spa for your, for your scalp, especially after all those um, crazy treatments like dyeing your hair and blow drying and shampoos and conditioners. So it's good to take care of your scalp as well. So now we have the lipid serums. <laughs> So many. Uh, the calming serum, I'll tell you a little story because it's just so nice. I, I only created this calming serum for my patients in the office because, you know, when you get treatments like um, injections and microneedling and, you know, you get like a little irritated and red skin. Um, and I wanted to calm it down. So that's a combination of chamomile, cardiospermum, um, skull cap, purslane, um, urea, pentanol. All my favorite ingredients are in here, and it's just like such a power tool to bring down redness and irritation. And you know, if you have rosacea prone skin, it's amazing. If you have any type of redness, or after waxing, after shaving, after mosquito bites, after sun, sunburn, it's such good, 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 good product. And so, my patients ask me if they can buy it, and I was like, no, it's just for the clinic. And they really convinced me to make the serum. And it's one of my favorite serums of all times. It's um, basically like a little house pharmacy. I put it on. So lipid serum, this is a lipid serum now. You know, some ingredients cannot be, um, cannot be, you know, a saluted. Do you say saluted in, in, in water? So um, they, need to be, um, they need to be put into an oil. And that's why this is a lipid serum. It's a calming serum. And, the lipid serums you um, use after the clear serums. You always start with the clear serums and then you move on to the lipid serums. And we also need lipids. So we need this for our um, skin barrier function. This feels so good. Love this so much, the serum. So much. So, you know, and I use it a lot in winter, in the winter months, because our skin needs more lipids than in the summertime. Um, so this is a serum I always have. And, um, you know, this is a serum you also even could use twice a week. You know, you don't have to use every serum at all time, every day, every morning. Um, pick your, the ones you want to use once in a while, the ones you only want to use in the evening, the ones you want to use only in the morning. So I think if you have like three serums in the morning, max, and three, I know there are some questions which ask me that. So that's why I want to already answer. So you can you know, choose the ones for the morning, the ones for the evening, and the ones for throughout the day. One amazing one for throughout the day is the glow drops. The glow drops are my favorite. They're actually, um, they're actually great. Do you guys see me because somebody just called me? Um, they're actually great also for minimizing pores. You know, they're refined pores as an ingredient in it, which does that. Um, white rose extract, it's amazing. And it has some um, pearly pigment. You see, I'm putting one serum after the next. It's possible. You know why? Because all my serums, they dissolve into the skin. So it's not like 
you know, at one point you feel like you're, it's all sitting on top of your skin, you know, and I, I know some facialists, they stack product and you know, more, 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 more. And then you get out of the facial and you think, oh my God, I need to wash my face because I have so much stuff on my face. This really dissolves into your skin and doesn't feel your skin um, like that you sweat underneath or anything like this. So I really do one after the next, after the Can you tell Jeremy not to call me right now? Um, so after the next, after the next, after the next. So 15 seconds, 15 to 20 seconds, you wait and then you put on the next serum, okay? Glow drops. One of my favorites, have it always with me in my purse. And um, throughout the day, I reapply it. I also um, think it's a great thing to mix with foundation if you want to use foundation, especially if you have acne prone skin. Don't use the um, the makeup without skincare. You always need to hydrate your skin, never dry out your skin, and makeup can clog your pores and can really be, um, um, you know, supporting your acne and breakout. So this is a really nice, um, really nice serum to mix in with your um, foundation. Also, it's great underneath foundation, on top of foundation. So play around with these products. You know, not every skin is the same. You figure out the best working um, for your own skin. And um, that's, that's, that's always the best because we all do something different. You know, Charlie has different routines than I. And um, it's, it's, really, it's really good that you figure it out and play a little bit with the different um, consistencies. That's another lipid serum, our brightening serum, which is great to loosen agglomeration of yellow and dark spots. So everybody who suffers of hyperpigmentation, that's the serum to use. It also has a few mineral pigments. It's a lipid serum as well. I show you um, where else it's really great. Um, I'll show you actually if you put it on your hands. I don't know if you would see that. I put it on my hand now. Did you see? It's so nice. It's actually also great before doing um, makeup or going out because it evens out your skin tone. I don't know if you see. Uh, there's some lighting, but it really brightens your skin. I don't know if you see that. I see it. So um, it's actually also great because we get these hyperpigmentations on our hands. So to use it on our hands, we have to do that more. Also where the brightening serum really is great if you put it, um, if you have dark circles under the eyes and you put it under the eyes, so good because it helps to lighten up the dark circles. So one more serum. So many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow. Well, it's a lot. So sun drops. My sun drops, my obsession as well. Best sunscreen in the world. Love, 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 love it. You know, I'm not a friend of um, putting sunscreens in, in creams because um, it's a chemical sunscreen and it can destroy your active ingredients. So I really um, put it whether in my cream just before. I, I go out or I use it as it is. If you mix it with another serum or with another cream, you might, um, you, you will have a less um, SPF. So this is 50, you might come down to 30, a little bit under 30. Um, it's not a big difference in, um, it's not a big difference in, you know, the, the, the protection. It's really between 30 and 50, not much difference, but it's important that you apply it everywhere, also ears, neck, etc. But also if you go outside and you sweat or you're in the ocean, oh my God, I get so many calls. Can you tell us how you right now? I did just, I did do that, I don't know why I did. So, um, sun drops, really, um, if you mix it, um, it will go lower in protection but it's important if you sweat and you go swimming, etc., that you reapply it multiple times throughout the day to get the optimal protection. This, these sun drops, they're actually amazing because there's also panthenolin and purslane to also protect and soothe your skin. So that's a good one. Um, it's really important when you use sun protection that the sun protection really goes into your skin. So don't have it sit on top, don't apply it after makeup. It really needs to create this shield on your skin and needs to dissolve into your skin. It's really important just um, to understand um, when you use the sun drops in your um, skincare step. So um, I use it whether with my moisturizer or right after and I make sure it really um, 
um, dissolves into my skin. Very important. Also, um, you know, I like, that's why I call certain um, serums like drops, because I also like to drop it into other products and serums like the glow drops. You can drop it in your cream or in another serum or the anti-pollution drops. I like to drop into my um, hyaluronic serum. So you can mix and match and um, find out a little bit the routine you, you prefer. Um, what else? I actually, what I wanted to show you, we have these sets, I made these sets. They are um, all the minis as a discovery drop set and a discovery serum set. So you can have the minis put together so you can try out a little bit um, which ones you like, which one you, ones you want to use and um, then get it later in a, in a more, um, in a bigger size. So there were some questions I also want to see. Um, um, maybe we should um, have Julie come in. So Julie is one um, of my estheticians and also does education. And I want Julie to show you how to um, pat in and um, apply serums the best way. So and rather than me showing you, I have Julie do that for you. Julie? Is Julie coming? Hi, Julie. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. You look good. Sturm glow, sturm sweater. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to start by um, the Yeti One Serum, which I love. So you just going to take a few drops. You're going to warm it up in the palm of your hand. And then you just want to do pressing motion. So you start from the middle end of your face and you go forward from the outside. And you basically just like use the natural way of your hand. And then you go, don't forget your neck. And if you can, don't forget also your decollete. So then I love to use the calming serum after the Yadonic serum. Um, so as you were saying, it's really important to use any serum the come back the canning just after. So same thing, just a few drops. You warm it up and then just do gentle pressure. One. Then I will use the face cream reach. You see, that's how the pros do it. <laughs> And I love to finish by the glow drop. It really amazing to give you the circle. So glow drops after face cream. Yes. And the good thing with the glow drop is if you want, you can even use it as an highlighter. So you can just apply it some area. Very nice. And this is the routine that we do every morning. Thank you, Julie. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so let's talk through um, um, the lifting routine and the night routine. Let's, um, can we have the pictures, Michael, to see so that we um, talk through like what a routine could look like? So that, for example, is the sturm lift. And you cleanse. You tone, there's not the toner in, but you, you do the, all your cleansing steps, cleansing, toning, then use your hyaluronic serum, your eye cream, your face cream, and then the lifting serum, okay? So lifting serum after face cream. And then um, the, let's look at the night routine. There's also the skin food in, which is good. Let's do the night routine. 
Is this so good that we can see all these pictures? But I'm doing this. I love that. And I also have a lot of questions here. Should I go start going? How much exfoliation is too much? So, no, here's the night routine. The night routine, you see the night routine. You cleanse, you um, maybe do your facial scrub in the evening um, twice a week. Then um, that's what I always use, the super anti-aging serum, the night serum, eye cream, face cream, and I use repair food and skin food every day um, because that's really great um, anti-aging supplements. The um, sleep food I don't need because I sleep, I actually fall asleep with pepper. So I'm a good sleeper, but everyone who has problems falling asleep, the sleep food is amazing. And it helps you. It's not addictive. It's nothing bad. It's all herbal and 5-HTP. It really helps you um, to get a more valuable, better, uh, relaxed sleep. So everybody who has problems with sleeping, we need to fix that because that's really important for all the repair going on in our bodies and our skin, okay? So question one, how much exfoliation is too much? So it really depends... It really depends what kind of exfoliating device you're using. So um, let's talk about the enzyme cleanser because that's what I like to use a lot. And um, an enzyme cleanser, ideally used twice a week. If you use this every day and every, you know, if you use it too much, an enzyme cleanser has um, enzymes like subtilisin and lipase and it breaks down proteins and lipids. And it also takes, down, um, takes away the lipids from from your skin barrier and we need lipids in our skin barrier. So don't over exfoliate, it's really, really important. Also, if you exfoliate with acids, you not only take off dead skin cells, you also take down healthy skin cells and you never will get to the mature skin cells because you always disrupt the cycle of cell division. So don't do that. Um, also because I, I said it before, um, please no acids. Um, Otherwise, your cells never get to the end level. Um, can using too many serums cause more breakouts? Um, everything you do too much can cause breakouts. Also, people um, you know, um, experience perioral dermatitis, which is um, coming from overusing ingredients, and especially ingredients which are not good for your skin. So yes, of course, overusing serums can also lead to that. Also, you know, um, please think about what kind of serums you use. If you use a vitamin C serum, I would be really careful. Check the concentration. It should be under 5%. Otherwise, it also disturbs skin barrier function and will dry out your skin and also um, cause inflammation and possibly also even acne. Bye.